I did a Dis Shucky News broadcast tonight with Howie Darkstar. We were talking about uplighting and how some people just put like 20 lights around the perimeter of a room and make them either chase or static color or whatever. But what I like to do is more of a lighting design thing where I'm highlighting architectural detail or points of interest or wherever I want people's attention to be. And it got me thinking about using zones with your lighting. You can do this very easily with DMX. Today I'm not going to do DMX, I'm going to do the Ape Labs Maxis with this remote control. It's RF so I don't need to know DMX for this, but you can achieve this with DMX. So here's a quick demonstration. Let me get out of the way and I'm going to turn on all of my lights. So what I've done here is I've highlighted a place for the grand entrance, the cake table, the head table, and the dance floor. Now if you can't tell what's going on where, I don't blame you. This is chaos right now. So we don't want chaos. Let's go ahead and break this down into zones. So the first thing I want to show you is where my grand entrance is going to happen. It's going to happen right there coming down the stairs. No one's paying attention to anything else except that because that's the only thing right now that's highlighted. Now once they enter the room, what I'm going to want to do is direct them to the cake table. Now let's pretend that's not the air cleaner off a 65 Mustang with a 289. That's just a cake right now. But what I don't want to do is highlight something that I don't want people to pay attention to, such as the exit, which is where they came in. It also acts as an exit. You can go up the stairs and leave the place. So let's turn that off. Now after the cake is cut, we don't really need to pay attention to it anymore. We can turn the cake off simply by selecting the zone and turning it off. Now what I can do is turn on the head table. Now I know it's just a blue light on a chair, but let's pretend it's three lights on a head table. Now everybody's focused on that. That's the center of attention right now. Once they're done eating, we don't need to look at the head table anymore. So let's focus our lighting on the dance floor for the first dance. It's really that simple. And you can also, of course, very easily just turn them all on if you want to, or just have one on, or whatever you want to do. It's up to you. But it's helpful to go ahead and do this in zones so you don't have to worry about chaos. You can definitely keep your focal point where you want it. So that's my quick little, I guess, DJ tip today. Again, DMX is fine. We used Ape Labs today. I'll do a video on this if you're interested. I'll show you how I set this up. That's it. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.